Rise and Shine, everyone! Welcome this month to Rise and Shine, where we will be celebrating the incredible story of Easter. We will be looking at Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. This is what we build our faith on. Let's get started with worship. Come on, everybody, sing with us.
for singing with us. Miss Gretchen, today's scripture from the Bible tells us about a time when one of Jesus' closest friends lied and told somebody he did not know about Jesus. Wow, that would make me feel really sad if my good friend treated me like that. Well, it gets even worse. Jesus' friend denied knowing him more than just one time. Let's take a look at today's Bible story and see what happens. Hey there, old chicken nuggets. Me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi, y'all. I'm so glad to see you, kiddos. I feel like it's been forever since we hung out. You smell that? You don't smell that? You don't smell the smell of dusty uh, dirt and animals and sweat? Oh, I thought for sure you would have smelled it. Because I'm on a farm, like a real actual farm. How cool is that? Now you're probably thinking, girl, what are you doing on a farm? That's exactly what I was thinking. Who said that? Whoa, take it easy. It's just me. Grace, oh goodness, you gotta keep stop sneaking up on me like that. My bad, but seriously, why are you on a farm? Did you get lost? Lost? Look at me. Do I look like the type of man that gets lost? Well, there was that one time you got lost inside the McDonald's bathroom for almost a whole day. Someone had turned the lights off and it was dark and I was terrified, okay? All right, but seriously, why are you there? Well, you know my cousin Cletus, right? The one that tips over cows and has a fear of the color yellow? That's the one. Well, he owns this farm and he's at a uh, state tractor pool this month, so that's why I'm here. So you get to take care of the farm while he's gone? I sure do. Isn't that exciting? Totally. I mean, that's such a cool opportunity. Kind of intimidating, though. Wait, why would you say that? Oh, nothing. I shouldn't have said that. I'm sure it's going to be great. Grace, tell me. Okay, well, it's nothing huge. I just know that comes with a lot of responsibility. Chores, feeding the animals, doing repairs, that kind of stuff. But I'm sure you're going to do great. Oh yeah, I think so. I'm great at all that stuff. But what about the mornings? Mornings? I love mornings. Well, I mean, don't farmers usually have to get up before the sun sometimes? Like, in the dark? Uh... What? Well, maybe I'm wrong. Did he leave a list or a schedule? Sure, it says it right here. Ah! I have to get up before the sun. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I'm afraid of the dark. This is the McDonald's bathroom fiasco all over again. Hey, Carl, breathe. You'll be okay. God will still be with you even in the dark. What, how can you be so sure? Well, you remember Peter? Jesus' disciple? Of course I do. Well, he went through some pretty dark days, and I think you can learn a lot from him. Okay, well, what happened to him? So check this out. It says in Matthew chapter 26 that Jesus was talking to Peter, and he told him something pretty shocking. What was it? Jesus said that Peter would deny him three times that night. What does that mean? It basically meant that Peter would tell others that he wasn't friends with Jesus three times. What? Why would he do that? Peter had no idea what Jesus was talking about. He told Jesus he would never do that. But Jesus told him, truly I tell you, Jesus answered, this very night before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Hey, I got roosters here. So Peter was confused. But later, Jesus was captured by soldiers and taken away. Oh, I really don't like this part. What they did to Jesus was messed up. Yeah, it really was. They didn't like that Jesus was changing things up and teaching people a better way to follow God. Anyway, while that was happening, Peter and the disciples followed and watched. Did Peter help Jesus? Well, there wasn't much Peter could do. He stood by and while he was there watching, a lady came up to him and asked if he was the one that she had seen with Jesus. And because Peter was scared he would also get in trouble, he said no. I don't know what you're talking about. Whoa, 
whoa, Peter just denied Jesus. Then Peter walked out through a gate and there was a younger girl there that looked at Peter and recognized him. She said, this was the man who was with Jesus. And Peter once again said, I do not know that man. Oh man, Peter, you just did it a second time. It was at this time, Peter began to become nervous and frustrated because a little while after, more people confronted him. A group of people said, surely you must know this man. They had heard the way Peter talked and assumed he and Jesus were from the same town. What did Peter do? Well, he got really mad and swore, I do not know that man. And at that time, a rooster crowed. Whoa, that was it. Peter denied Jesus three times, just like Jesus predicted it. What happened next? Well, Peter realized what he had done. So he went out and began to cry. He was extremely upset. He had turned his back on Jesus. This was a very dark time in Peter's life. Sounds like it. Man, that is such a bummer. It really is. And I tell you this story not to bum you out, but to help you realize something. What's that? that we can stick with Jesus when our days get dark. You see, Peter had the choice to stick with Jesus or not. And when things got too scary, he backed away. So Peter may not have stuck by Jesus then, which I get, he was afraid for his life. But we can learn from his story that we can make a different choice. Can you guess what that is? Stick with Jesus? Yep. Even when you're feeling fearful, sticking with Jesus is the best choice. Now, that may look different depending on the situation. We can stick with Jesus by standing up for the truth, or by sharing the story of Jesus with others, or even asking God for courage to carry out your morning farm chores in the dark. You're totally right. I know being in the dark is kind of scary, but it's something I gotta do. Plus, I know that if I do that, my faith in Jesus is only going to grow. Kind of like those crops you're growing on the farm. Yes, just like that. Grace, thanks so much for helping me today. I really appreciate it. No problem. If you need help with anything else, let me know. Well, I mean, I have like a ton of manure uh, if you want to help me shovel it. Uh, oh, would you look at that? It's time for the big idea. I wish I could, Carl, but I gotta go. See ya. Hey there kids, it's time to rise and shine because our big idea today is I can stick with Jesus when my day is dark. So let's say it out loud on the count of three in our biggest farmer voice, okay? Ready? One, two, three. I can stick with Jesus when my day is dark. <laughs> Perfect. Well, that wraps up our time here today. Tune in next week and we will check back in with Farmer Carl. See you later. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Peter didn't stick by Jesus when things got rough. I can't believe he denied him three times. No, Peter didn't stick by Jesus. But I am so glad for today's big idea. Today's big idea says that even when my days are dark, I can stick with Jesus. I'm glad he sticks with me and when I have good days or even bad days. I hope I always stick with him. Let's pray. God, thank you that you stick with us in good times and bad times. I pray that we will always stick with you too. We know that you um, are our best friend, that you'll never leave us or forsake us. And I pray God that we in turn will never leave or forsake you. Help us to be strong and help us to always be ready to tell others about you. And everybody said, amen. amen. We'll see you next time. Bye.